everybody, welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. Today we're bringing you another Nerf product comparison video. We're going to be focusing on the Nerf Elite Dart. And the reason being, the wonderful people over at Raytheon Toys, big thank you and a thumbs up by the way, were kind enough to send me this very large package of their replica Nerf Elite Darts in exchange for a honest and unbiased review, which is what you're always going to get on this channel. So we're going to go ahead and put these Raytheon darts through a battery of tests, firing them from numerous different blasters from a range of 25 feet, so you guys can see how they perform. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, taking a closer look at the two darts, they basically are the same length. I would say that the Raytheon darts are maybe just a hair longer. Taking a look at the tips, you will definitely notice that the Nerf tip is a little shorter and fatter as opposed to the Raytheon tip. And then if you look at the bottom where the hole is, as you can see, the Nerf dart is considerably just a little bit bigger. I'll see if that's on every one of them. But yeah, you can kind of see that. It's pretty much true across them all. Now, the other thing I will say, as you can tell with these, these are very very clean out of the box these raytheon darts there's nothing there's no glue residue or anything but just in the being thorough there were some that as you can see had a lot of glue residue on them so you'll definitely have to look through your uh darts as they come out of the package but these were probably the worst cases i found out of what they sent me about 200 right, guys here's a quick overview of the blasters that we're going to use today for the raytheon test some are modded some aren't we're gonna keep switching it up a little bit and try to add some new blasters to the mix. So you guys, if you have one of these, you'll exactly see how these darts will perform in them. We are at 25 feet. We're gonna start with a stock fire strike. Now we're gonna switch up to a brass breached fire strike built by Frankenzilla Mods. This thing shoots at about 130 feet per second. Go with the standard disruptor. Okay, we're gonna reload that again and shoot to do slam fire. Hammer shot fans out there, let's take a shot with this. Let's go with the blaze fire, stock form. Ooh, that one didn't even reach the whole way. Go ahead and shoot the rough cut. <laughs> rough cut shoots nice, I like that. All right, let's go with the judge. We'll do the top barrel single fire. We'll do the bottom one slam fire. Okay. Okay guys, let's do the Raptor strike. We're gonna fire normal elite darts actually to give you a gauge of what to base the next firing on. Okay, let's reload. Let's 
fire the stage one retaliator. And we have the Raytheon darts already in. Okay, so let's move on to the demolisher. I do have elite darts in here just so I can show you what those perform like before we get to the Raytheon darts. All right, let's do a little multi-fire to see how bad they perform once the Flywheels aren't fully revved. Okay, you definitely gotta let these run up. Some of them didn't even, <laughs> wow. Okay, you definitely gotta let the flywheels rev up because as you can see, I had a couple that only went, I don't know, five feet, <laughs> 10 feet, if that. Okay guys, let's check out the strata bow. Make sure it's pulled down this time. Okay, here go the Buzz V Brute. I got Nerf Elite darts here, and then when I flip it over, we're gonna have the Raytheon darts. Okay. Kind of mixed, you guys saw it. Right, let's move on to the Elite Hyperfire. We got a six round regular Nerf darts in here first. What is going on today? Okay, that was better. Let's try it with a 12 round magazine. Raytheon darts. Okay. An 18 round mag. We're gonna shoot it, kinda like bursting it. See if we get better performance. I didn't have that magazine fully loaded, I guess. <laughs> Let's go with another one. Sorry about that. YouTube bloopers. <laughs> Everybody, time for me to go over my overall opinion of the Raytheon replica elite darts and I will say based on the performance of all the different blasters that I fired I am kind of mixed not really sure how I kind of feel about these in some blasters like the modded ones they perform pretty well when I did go into stock flywheel 
And I did do rapid fire with, say, the Demolisher. I was very disappointed in the drop in performance. So some of the Springers did really well. Some of the other ones were like, okay, sort of like the Judge. You know, sometimes I fired all three and all three hit the door 25 feet away. And then other times I pulled the trigger and only one out of the three hit the door. So it was just really, really erratic for me in order to really get fully behind these darts. I will say for the price, as you can sell on Raytheon's website, which I'll put a link down in the description, $16.99 for $300 is not a bad price. I'm not really sure what they charge for shipping. You can check that out for yourself depending on where you live. But um, there's a couple other darts that I probably would go with before these, but that's just my opinion. I gave you all the performance and the data in the range test so you can judge for yourself whether these are right for you. Uh, to those of you at Raytheon, thank you very much for sending these to me. I do appreciate it and allowing me to go ahead and perform a review on your product. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for my review of the Raytheon darts. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. you got nothing to lose. And you're going to get valuable tips like this. They may help you save money in the future on different Nerf products. So, once again, from our family to yours, have a great day, everybody.